Trutz Antifon. Here is a wise virgin from who went forth to change. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Rudy Lozano. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we first ask for God's forgiveness. Lord, you came to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to reconcile sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service to the, your church. Grant through her intercession that your people participate in the mystery of Christ who ever exalt in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Paphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent forth to them, sent word to them, my brothers, if one of you have, has a word of exhortation from, for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand and said, fellow children of Israel and you others who are God fearing, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out. And for 40 years, he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 400 years and 50 years. After these things, he provided judges to Saul. Up, after these things, he provided judges up to Saul the prophet. Then he asked, they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from Jerusalem, a man from Be a man from the tribe of Benjamin for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my ever wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior. Jesus. John heralded him, 
herald his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandal of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him. That my hand may be always with him. And that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen. But so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. To you. Our theme in both readings today is evangelization. In the first book, first reading, we see where Paul, a noted Pharisee who studied under Gamaliel, he had the credentials of being an, an excellent Pharisee. He was asked to share in the temple. And in the beginning, they would go to the temple to seek people to evangelize. And evangelization was very, uh, very much on his mind all the time. So he is going to try to connect the Old Testament and all the things that happened in the Old Testament to Christ and bring it into the New Testament. And that probably wasn't a very easy thing to do. I think all of, the, uh, all of the people that he was speaking to had been raised in this deep tradition. You know, tradition is the biggest thing in the Jewish faith. And to try to convince them that there's going to be a change. There needs to be a change. And uh, that's not an easy thing to do. But he tied it in, and that's what he did. And he was gifted. He was well-spoken, he, he studied, he, he had all the gifts to be a great evangelizer, and many, many people came to the Lord through his ministry. He was probably responsible for bringing more people into the faith than any other man alive. So that was his way of evangelization. 
But our way of evangelization is a little different, and we see that way in the gospel, in the service. Our service is our evangelization. We came to follow the Lord, and he wanted us to serve one another. He wanted us to love, because that is the, the thing that people see. A lot of times, people don't need the eloquence of a, a, a beautiful speaker, you know, that can tie things in, and, and, or they don't even need uh, things that you find in books, you know, that are supposed to promote your well-being and, and train you in the, in the uh, art of evangelization. No, our actions are our evangelization. Our following through in Jesus washing the feet and humbling himself, washing the feet of the apostles, that's a, a true act of humiliation and, and of love. He showed the love that he had for them that all of this circumstance around, you know, levels of, of importance, uh, levels of, uh, you know, uh, positioning and, and all that doesn't really matter. The thing that matters is if you see a need and you can provide for that need out of love. And so let us today, you know, offer ourselves up to the Lord and, and offer our actions and our love for each other up to the Lord and let us understand that he is the center of all that we do. He is the foundation for what we are. And so uh, we are on solid ground. We are on very good, solid ground, so we continue to just see where we can be helpful and see where we can be Christian to others. We pray for our Holy Father. We pray for our bishops and all who lead us in following Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick that they may have healing grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the deceased that they may have eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Mary Palter and all who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we silently add our own intentions. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we've come with our needs. Hear us all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who came to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give even more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts proclaim together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy, be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, his assistant bishops and all the clergy. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Christ's peace, Father. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen. Blood of Christ. Amen. Communion antiphon. If we walk in the light, as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his son Jesus Christ cleanses us all our sins. Hallelujah. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. <clears throat>
Let us pray. May the heavenly table <coughs> at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourishes the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads and seek the Lord's blessing. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go in joy and peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. A prayer for priests, religious, deacons, all God's children of heaven and the children of love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Have a wonderful day. A blessed day. God bless. Blessing of the Father and the Son, and may the Spirit.